Hello everyone, Bacon Geek here. Bethesda's Creation Club is probably the most controversial mod system out there, with much of the community believing that most of the creations are not really worth the money at face value. While Bethesda has heard our complaints and has offered multiple sales on their creations, the community still doesn't seem to be convinced. Being a fan of the Creation Club, I have decided to share my opinions of these mods in this series of creation reviews. Let's get started. <music> To start off, we have the Pip-Boy skins. They are normally available for, on the Creation Club for 50 credits each, although it isn't uncommon to see them for free. After installing, you can apply the skins to your Pip-Boy at any armor workbench, with the option of Chrome, Desert Camo, my personal favorite Onyx, Swamp Camo, White, and the recently released Aquatic Camo. Personally, I would only recommend getting the Pip-Boy skins when they're free on the Creation Club. Bethesda puts them in sales so frequently that if you're planning to get every single Pip-Boy skin, it'd probably be better just to save those 300 credits for something useful like horse power armor. Like the Pip-Boy skins, the weapon skins are purely cosmetic and can be applied to most ballistic and laser we weapons at any work weapon workbench. The 10 skins are available for 100 credits at each or 75 credits each of purchasing a bundle. The first bundle contains skins based on the Hot Rodder magazines. The second bundle contains skins based on the four main factions of Fallout 4. And the third bundle contains skins based on some secondary factions uh, from both pre-war and post-war Commonwealth. If you do plan to get these for your game, I highly recommend that you get them either in a bundle or if they're on sale individually. With over 10 different skins available for over 10 different weapon types, I consider it well worth the investment to personalize some of your favorite weapons. Just know that these weapons are still as dangerous as they were before, to others and yourself. Now unlike the Pip-Boy and weapon skins, the new power armor paint jobs actually have a use other than being cool to look at. Running at 100 credits a pop, the chrome plating mod adds 60 energy resistance to each piece. The desert and swamp camo increases stealth when fully applied. The onyx paint increases stealth in dark areas when fully applied. The new aquatic camo increases detection when fully applied. And the white paint job increases intelligence by one point when fully applied. To be honest, I don't really use these a whole lot as most of the creation complaints are similar to the ones that already exist in game or I don't really have a use for them. The white paint mod is essentially the same as the institute paint except it's for all power armors instead of just the X01. The camo and onyx paints definitely have roleplay value but generally aren't very useful as you don't go sneaking around in a giant metal in giant metal armor that often. However, the chrome plating is quite useful actually boasting the highest energy resistance of all power armor paint jobs, and you don't have to wait until you get the Science 2 perk to obtain it. So, in general, if you are interested in getting some of these, I would wait for a sale, but obviously, it's up to you. So that concludes my review on the various skins and cosmetics from Fallout 4's Creation Club. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below which creations do you want me to review next. So, as always, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.